Fuck the real bitches off the fame. Cause that ain't, you know, them is the groupies you gonna fuck off your fame. And that's what they be threatening rappers with. Like, well, how you gonna be big? How you gonna become a star without our marketing machine? Who said a nigga, that was a nigga go? My shit on the wall, my nigga. Had, had. Above all, create something to be proud of. That's my goal, that's my mentality with all my projects. To be proud of the motherfuckers forever, not for the moment when they splash and they getting talked about. Ever. I can go back and listen, I'm proud of you. Steve. They forced my hand. If I had to think of ways, nigga, to, cause I'm not, I'm not selling for underground. I'm not cool with that. And I'm not selling for non-ownership. I ain't cool with that, so I gotta find a middle ground. How do I own my shit and still be received on a mainstream platform and to be able to compete on a mainstream platform. I'm better than niggas. Niggas can't fuck with me. Niggas ain't real as me. Niggas ain't live life how a nigga live life, make the decisions a nigga made. Or the sacrifices. Niggas ain't stand up when it was time to stand up. And so, I'm playing with a handicap, but I'm still getting judged on my results. My whole strategy is how to push the middle ground. How do I compete on that level without giving up ownership? That's the catch 22 that they gotta send. And they like this social pressure to compete. You rapping, you wanna be the top nigga. Cause what else is niggas playing for if they don't want the ring or the crown? The labels know that. And they making it like the only way to that is through him. Fuck that nigga, we got power, we got the internet, we got our people. And a nigga gonna shut down industry now. That's my goal, I'm trying to blockbuster them niggas. I'm Netflix, they blockbusters. You know what I'm saying? Blockbusters try to had an opportunity to fuck with Netflix and they didn't. And then Netflix shut their business down. It's over. They bankrupt. It's a wrap. You, when the last time you rented a video, bro? When the last time you was on Netflix? <laughs> this morning, a couple days ago. <laughs> this morning. Me too. And that same thing happened with these labels. They was trying to play too hard. I got gassed up. Nigga, they thought shit was sweet. Like niggas wasn't gonna figure it out. And now, fuck your check. Nigga don't even want the money. He gonna get it on his own. How long you had that watch, Nip? Uh, good. It's all good. Man, it's like 06, 07. You got more than one? Yeah. Look at the cover. Bullets ain't got no name. Buy you one, right? 
got on two Cuban links, the old Cuban links. I was like, oh six. Go look at every other rapper. That's from my generation. Look at the, look at their mixtape and their videos from that era. None of them niggas was wearing Cuban gold robes. I really start seeing niggas doing that shit till really. It feel like this year. Like that shit got over, like, oh, yeah. Go listen to Bullshit Out of Night by you want. Listen to what I said. You know, they're rapping about Cuban Lakes. On the cover, what went on? Two of them on that shit. Niggas wasn't even wearing gold. Niggas wearing like colorful shit. Gucci Man Jewelry. In six months, niggas gonna be like. <laughs> Yeah, I was the first nigga to sell it. <laughs> mixtape for a hundred dollars. The whole thing is, they gonna make all these young niggas say fuck it up. It's gonna be influential. And the mentality is gonna be like the same way niggas rocking skinny jeans and slim shirts. Culture change. Niggas call, call you gay if your jeans fit and your shirt was small five years ago. I used to wear 5 XTs, my nigga. Talk to you. Yep. What happened? Culture change. Once the culture changes, it's over. Reality changes. So nigga, once the culture changes with these expectations that artists have, what the label gonna do? They gonna do one or two things. They gonna give niggas better deals or they gonna crumble and turn into blockbuster. Cause all the real artists gonna want that bragging right to nigga, I'm fuck the middle man, proud to pay. Self-made nigga. Niggas that can't say that, it's gonna be like, nigga, you got a silver spoon in your mouth. Nigga, you ain't from the hood. Nigga, you spoiled. That's how they gonna look at it. Like, you ain't struggle, nigga. You ain't build this shit yourself. You got blessed, nigga. They helped you. So your success is getting gauged as it was supposed to happen. Whereas when you're doing it yourself, your success is getting gauged. It's like, how is this shit happening? You know? I'm already, I'm confident, nigga. These motherfuckers, these humans gonna sell. Say like man, they've been telling me about the power to pay movie for about a year now. My hair house is all very like in terms of content. You know, right now it's just an example of like a young pioneer, young revolutionary breaking history, like breaking down the music industry, you know, going out here just standing on his own too with his homies and his family, you know what I'm saying, making money and, and, and defying all standards of what you think is the music business. You know, we're talking about a hundred dollar album, like that's how he feels about his art, you know, and how he feels like, okay, and how his fans feel about it too. Obviously, you know, you see how many people are out here, like this is a pure example of you put positive work and hard work and energy into something, you're gonna get positive results, you know. So I'm just happy to be a part of part of it. You know, what's happening now? Tell me what's happening. Yeah, it's, it's happening tonight at my store, the youth store, you know. So right here on Fairfax and Rosewood. Like I said, I'm just happy to be a part of this. I told Nip last night, man, like I appreciate him including me in this. And he said, you know what? Like I said, we've been talking about this for a year, you know? So it's like, it's finally coming to fruition. All right. My nigga. Fresh off. Hey, Steve. What up, what up? Talk to him, dog. We live up here at the Nip set. Nip has some shit. Crenshaw. Shout out to Crenshaw. We at the JBC store on Fairfax. Yeah. Crenshaw. Make sure y'all get that. Get home safely. Yep, yep, yep. You already know he on that. Drop that day. On top of 15. Get home safely. Shout out to my bro, Nip Hustle. You already know. Yeah. Dedicated. Dedicated. Crenshaw niggas. Crenshaw That's what niggas. it is. That's From Adams is. to Imperial. Adams to Imperial. That's really what it is. Yeah. Come in. Come in. Yeah. New Nipsey Hustle. Check me out. You in trouble? Check me out. Pay us now. Check me out. Or pay me double. Check me out. New Nipsey Check Hustle. Me Check me out. Double shot. Nipsey Hustle. New York, man. Crenshaw, LA shit, man. It looks like you're getting the first one, my nigga. LA Sneakers, man. You know we had to come out and represent for the boy, man. Looks like y'all getting the first day. Crenshaw, man. I want to have it. I want to have it so I can blast off on the radio tomorrow night, man. Turn up. Nothing but love for the boy Nipsey Hustle, man. All support from the LA Sneakers. Nipsey Hustle. Check me out. New Nipsey Hustle. Check me out, nigga. Fuck it. Check me out, nigga. Fuck it. I came from nothing. Shoot out in public. That's what they was. My life was ugly, then I got money. Caught a glimpse of that. That's not for me. She say she love me. She thinks she love me. Everything you wouldn't like about a female, like you nag too much, shut the hips, like be quiet, 
She like more like was raised by two older brothers to where she like know how to be around real niggas and just be solid and be herself. Yeah, I got it. Nah. You like the way I play the cards I'm dealt, huh? You like how I came up and stayed myself, huh? All that shit I said on my tapes, nigga, feel huh? Gotta can't lose it, gotta turn it into wealth, huh? You like how I go hard and never fail, huh? You like how I stay down and lift the world up. I sold out, judging by the sales, huh? I'm a heavyweight, judging by the scales, huh? My name ring bells, plus it sell tickets. As I push past these thousands to these mail tickets. Hey niggas, get some bread, you gon' feel different. And you can feel nip for looking at the world different. All black yeah, kids. Man, we just made history. You know what I'm saying? I think about when I see my mama smile. Say we won't stop until we reach the top. We gon' be there for a while. Ooh, you looking at a one-on-one? Ooh, I'll show you how the shit is done. Ooh.